You may have already seen my video from late last week when I was feeling very stuck with the theme of my island. I wasn't inspired, I wasn't having fun, and I felt restricted by the theme. So, in a very, very risky Kim moment, I deleted my island. But what's happened since? Have I started my new island? Am I regretting my decision? Honestly, I'm really not regretting deleting my island. Not at all. There was a sad moment at first, but I've barely thought about my old island since. The plan for the next island was to make a swampy, dark, stormy island populated by frogs. And there has been so much progress that I haven't actually had time to be sad at all. <laughs> the same day that I deleted my old island, I started re-rolling for a new one. And I got a map for an island on roll number three that seemed so interesting and different from what I usually go for that I decided to check it out. The native fruit was apples, the native flower is cosmos, and Genji and Cherry were the starter villages. And while Genji and Cherry are not frogs, they're starters that I'm happy to have at the beginning of the game. Here's the map for the island that I've chosen. It's usually something that I would not go for at all. I would usually hate having my resident services that close to the airport as it gives me almost no space for an entrance. But it gave me some inspiration to make as much of the island as natural feeling as possible, leaving the man-made buildings and structures near the front of the island. It's a different one to pick for me, but it's going to give me so much more space on the island to work with than usual. And once I kind of felt really happy with this map, the mods and I brainstormed a few frog related names. As part of that, I started trying to think of famous frogs, and it reminded me that there's Mr. Toad in the Wind in the Willows. So I've gone with the name Willows for my island. You're probably as surprised as I am that I didn't go with a food related name, but I like the name Willows. In the weekend, I started villager hunting on stream for frog villagers, and within a short time I'd managed to get both Lily and Jeremiah. They're two of my favourite frogs, so that was exciting. Then yesterday, I streamed another villager hunt. This one sadly wasn't quite as lucky. I used 90 tickets and I saw just two frogs, Ribbit and Diva. I invited Ribbit to move to Willows as, even though he's a robot frog and doesn't really fall within the natural theme I'm going for, I do have an idea for a fun space we could create for him. So I moved him in. And as for Diva, she stayed where I saw her. I don't think she'll quite fit with what I'm going for for the theme, but you never know, I might end up changing my mind and actually inviting her via Amiibo. I think I have her Amiibo card anyway. <laughs> And last night while I was playing alone, I managed to move Henry in. So our frog villager list is slowly coming together, with four moved in and six to go. There are plenty of gems I'm going to try to get to move in, including Camera Frog, Wart Jr, Drift and Huck, but what other frogs do you think I should invite to live on Willows? There are quite a few to choose from, more than I thought, so do tell me if there are any you want me to try and move in, or that you think I should try and invite. I am so glad I moved on to the new theme and deleted that old island. Sometimes you just know when it's time to move on, and even though it seemed to come out of nowhere, looking back it was the best decision and I am so glad I actually did it. I think the best part of moving on is that I'm so inspired to work on my new island. I'm already nearly at 3 stars and I'll be doing so much designing on upcoming streams because I just am so inspired and motivated, so do follow me on Twitch if you want to watch me design Willows live. Thank Thank you so much for watching, do like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet, and if you've made it this far I'd love to hear whether you've ever suddenly decided to delete your island, and if you went through with it, if you regretted your decision or not. I do have regrets about one or two of my islands, but definitely not this one. Stay fresh cheese bags, bye!